KL. We're here to talk about concept six, uh, the lengths of arcs and the area of sectors of circles. So we'll start by doing a little review here. We're going to talk about the area of a circle. This is something that you've probably been doing for many years now. The area of a circle A is equal to pi times the radius R squared. So here's our example circle. R is the radius. We would just plug that value in for R here, square it, and multiply it by pi. So, for example, if I have a circle with radius 4, I can start with the formula. We can plug in the radius. And we can simplify. And sometimes we like to say that we leave things in terms of pi. So that means we get to this point here, we clean it up by putting the number in front and pi next to it, and then we could just leave it like that. Don't multiply by pi. So if I say in terms of pi, that means we don't do the last step where we multiply by pi. It, it's not wrong if you multiply by pi, but if I want to leave it just in terms of pi so I don't have some crazy decimal, I can just say that this is 16 pi. A sector of a circle is just a fraction of that area. So the area is all the space inside the circle. A sector is just a fraction of that area. So if I want to talk about this sector, I want to know about all this area inside this piece of the circle. This is one sector of a circle. And we can find the area of a sector by using this formula. Up top here is the measure of arc AB. So we're over here looking at this circle. There's arc AB. If we know the measure of that in degrees, that goes up top. So I'm just going to go over this arc in purple, point to it in purple. We divide that by 360. So, like I said, a sector is a fraction of a circle. So this is the fraction of the circle that the sector makes up. It's the amount of degrees of the arc over the total circle, 360. And then we multiply that by the area of the circle. So, for example, here we have a radius of 7. We have an arc measure of 90. So we just plug that in. 90 over 360. That'll give us the fraction of the circle. And that's multiplication. We can use an x or a dot times the area. 90 over 360, that's a, that's a fourth of the circle, so it's 0.25 times pi times 49. And then we can do 0.25 times 49. I'm going to make a calculation. That turns out to be 12.25. And I'm going to leave this in terms of pi, so I won't multiply by pi. I'll just put the pi next to it. So the area of this sector here in blue is 12.25 pi. Pause the video now, and I want you to find the area of sector PQR. So that is this sector that's enclosed by the angle PQR and arc PR. So we'll start with the formula here. The area is the measure of the arc we're talking about. So in this case, arc PR over 360 times pi R squared. And we can plug in arc PR is 100. And the radius is 12. And we can just keep simplifying. And 100 divided by 360 is a long decimal. It's approximately. 
repeating times pi times 144. And we're going to leave in terms of pi here. And we end up with 40 pi. So the area of this sector is 40 pi. Another value of the circle, something that we might want to know is the circumference. The circumference is a special type of perimeter that applies just to circles. It's how far around the circle is. So if I start at this point here and I go all the way around back to that point, that's the circumference. The measure of a circle is always 360. That's the amount of degrees that we measure in a circle. Circumference is a length. So if I were to chop this circle right here at this point, and straighten it out into a straight line and measure it with a ruler, that would be our circumference. It's a length. So it's going to be in units like inches or centimeters or feet or miles. It's not going to be in degrees. So we can find the circumference of this circle at the right that has a radius 4 just by plugging in. And again, this probably looks familiar to you. I'm going to do 2 times 4 is 8, and I will leave in terms of pi. So I'm okay with you leaving it in terms of pi unless I ask you to multiply through and round to uh, the nearest tenth or something like that. So using the circumference, we can find an arc length. An arc length is just part of the circumference. So this arc AB, it has a measure in degrees. So measure is in degrees. But if we want to know about length, we're going to have to do something a little bit different. Length is going to be some sort of linear measure, uh, like feet. So I'll say, you know, for example, feet or inches or miles. Okay, so we can find the length of this arc using a formula for arc length. So we're going to do a fraction of the circle again, just like we did with sector area, but this time we're going to multiply by the circumference formula. So for example over here, I think I have the same exact circle. This time we'll find the arc length. So I'm going to go with 90 degrees over 360 times 2 times pi times the radius. And I'll leave in terms of pi again. So I've got 0 0.25 times 2 times 7 is 14 times pi. So we end up with 3.5 pi. And that's how long this arc from A to B is. Its measure is 90 degrees. Its length is 3.5 times pi. And I didn't put a unit there, so maybe we can say inches. So this would be 3.5 pi inches. So pause the video now and find the length of arc PR. So I'm, of course, going to start with the formula. The arc length is going to be the measure in degrees of PR divided by 360 times the circumference of PR. So I have 100 over 360 times 2 times pi times 12. I'm going to have that nasty repeating 0.27 repeating times 2 times 12. And that gives me 6.67 approximately pi. So I want you to try uh, these two problems. Notice there's two of them. Uh, number one, I want you to find the area of the sector. And for number two, I want you to find the length of this arc LN. Make sure you submit your answers online in the 
with the link in the description section of the video, and good luck to you.